What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to continue with the Interaction SDK, where I'm gonna be showing you how the distance hand grab interactables actually work. So we're gonna be going through and setting up an object so that we can actually select it from the distance. I'm also gonna walk you through how to create and assign a retycle, also a different icon for the retycle. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how we can do a line render with dashes so that it can actually display when you're selecting an object. So I jump into my computer and I start working on it. And this is gonna have the rig that we used in the previous videos. Basically has the synthetic hands and the configuration for the left controllers, right controller, left hand, and right hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and expand hands, which is what I'm gonna be focusing on. And I'm gonna be adding a few interactors in here. So the one that I'm gonna be focusing on today is going to be the distance hand grab interactor. Let's go ahead and drag it and drop it into the hand left interactor. I'm also gonna do the same thing here into this one. And then the other thing that we need to do is we need to associate the hand ref. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the right hand just to make sure that we have everything. And then if you go ahead and expand the visuals, you're gonna see that this doesn't have the visuals enabled. And the reason for that is because it's not fully set up. So let's go ahead and set it up. So if you notice, this takes a synthetic hand. I'm going to be associating the synthetic hand. And I'm also going to be enabling this component because we're gonna need it. I'm also gonna go into visuals here and I'm gonna expand the right hand visual. And this is so that it can actually keep control of the visualization on the mesh for each one of the hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this component here, which has the component that I need. I'm also gonna go back into the left hand. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and grab the synthetic hand for that. And then I'm also going to go into here. Let's go ahead and expand it and grab the actual mesh. So I'll go into visuals and then associate this mesh node with this component here so that we can basically visualize the strain with the strain indicator. The next thing that we need to do is because we added new interactors is we need to go ahead and make sure that we have them in this array. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the one here on the left hand. I'm also going to be doing that on this one. Go ahead and drag it and drop it. And that should take care of all the things that we need to do that do there for the hand interactors. So we can go ahead and we'll just leave it in there because I'm gonna need them as well. Then if we go in here, I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the interactables components. I'm also going to go into and collapse the Oculus folder, go into my prefabs here, the ones that I prepared on the previous video. So just make sure that you watch that video because I go over some of the things that I'm doing today. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a cup in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and unpack this prefab because we're gonna be changing it quite a bit. And if you remember from the previous video, we had many hand grab interactables in here that we created for different tests. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave one for the right hand and then one for the left hand. It's gonna make it a lot simpler to work with. And then if you go down here to this hand grab interactable, what I'm gonna be doing though is I'm gonna go ahead and add a new component and this component is gonna be called a distance hand grab interactable. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I drop it in place in there. And it's gonna be very similar to the hand grab interactable that we just added. And I'm also going to be adding a new component called a move from target provider. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this in here. And this is gonna allow us to basically do a distance grab without actually changing the position of the target object. If you do, there's also a move to target provider, move at target provider. There's multiple options in there that you can use. There's also one called move auto target provider, I believe. So if I go auto, you can see auto move towards tar target provider. And basically that doesn't allow you to cancel that movement if you do want to select. Basically it's going to move towards you until it reaches the destination. So there's different options in there that you can use. So now that you do that, I think that's everything that I need to do to make sure that that it's going to work. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the left one. So I'm gonna do hand, we can just do distance, grab, hand grab interactable. Make sure that I select that. And I'm also gonna be adding the move from target provider and then let's go ahead and drag it and drop it in here. So it's gonna be very simple. We just got a cup and then it's just going to be having two different hand poses that we can use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clone this. Perhaps we can just clone it twice. 
So I'm gonna put one maybe right about 0.3, and then we can do another one right about the negative three. That way we have, you know, three of them to play with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there, and then we can just go ahead and rename. All right, so I added the different components in here that we're going to be needing, which is the distance, hand grab, and drag tool, but I never told it what the object was going to be that we were going to be selecting, so we need to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and drop it in here into the pointable element. I'm also going to be doing that with the other hand, so we can just go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another component, so it's gonna be a new game object, and this one is gonna be called retycles, so I can just say retycles in there. And we can just go ahead and zero, zero, and zero these so that everything is clean. And if we go on the runtime and then expand that, go into prefabs, distance, grab, hand grabs, and then retycles, you're gonna see that we have multiple options in here. I'm gonna be using the retycle for the icon and also the line render. And these ones are going to be required for both hands. We can just do one for the left hand there, another one for the left hand on the lines. And then we can just go ahead and clone these two. So if we expand these components in here and this one as well, I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the ones that we're gonna need for. The retycle icon left, it's gonna need the distance interactor. So we know that this is gonna be this one. I'm also going to be needing the center eye anchor because it's gonna do some calculation to be able to make sure the retycle icon is placed correctly on the mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm also going to be doing that on the actual line render, so make sure you do this one for that left hand. Okay, so the last thing that I need to do to make sure this is going to be clean is I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these ones right here, and we're gonna go ahead and make a change here on the distance, hand grab, interactable. Let's make sure that we have it select to none, and that way the hand is not gonna snap to the object that we have selected. And let's go ahead and try, and I think I added it to the hand grab interactable before, and that was basically how they got it done on the, on the actual example. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we can associate this with the mesh, then the collider, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. All right, let's see if this works now. I made that retycle a little bit bigger also, so that we could see that actually a lot better, and I can select that, I can select that object. I can also select multiple cups at the same time if I wanted to, and everything, you know, it's working correctly. So last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of these objects as we have them selected. So to do that, we can just go ahead and go here into my visuals, and I'm gonna do it right on one object, and then you guys can do it and look at it on the other objects once I check it in into source control. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a new render. For some reason, when, that, when I do that, it gives me an error. But just trust me, this is gonna work. We can do that there. And then I can also add it in here to one of the hands. And this one is going to be called the interactable color visual. You can also use the debug visual. It's actually a, lo a lot easier to use, but I'm gonna use this one so that you guys know how it works. I'm gonna tell it what's going to be the, the actual view, the interactable that I'm gonna be activating this color zone. So I'm gonna do the distance hand grab interactable, and then also the material properties that are going to be basically accessing the shader information. And then here, when we do on hover, we can set it to red. And then maybe when we have it selected, we can set it to something like yellow. And I think that it's enough. We can just do, I can do the other ones later on. This one has the color changes. It's yellow when I have it selected. If I let go, it's going to be the original color. And if I have it selected, it's gonna be red. The same thing with this one. So that just helps with color selection. And I can move and move things around. That's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. If you guys have any questions about this or additional questions about the Interaction SDK, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.